it's good to refer to the question, refer to any tables that they give you. And a big difference between band five and band six is joining your ideas together. So if you can say this leads to, or therefore, or because of this, that gets you into a higher level of answering. Planning your answer is probably the second top tip that I would give. You need to spend a bit of time working out what they want from you. So I've put a question here, a very difficult one, an eight mark question, just to quickly go through how you might do a little plan. So this question here is asking you to explain. So the first thing we do is we take note of the verb. If it says explain, they're asking for a reason. So I'd like you to put a circle around that. And I would write next to it, I have to have because in my answer. That means I've given a reason. Explain using examples, plural, more than one, how genetics, they want you to talk about genetics, and the environment, so both of them, can affect the phenotype. So you need to know what that is. I would write a definition. It means the expression of a gene, so whether you have freckles or blue eyes or pale skin, these, that would be your phenotype, the expression of a gene. So how can it affect the phenotype? So you make a list because you've got eight marks there. So genetically, it might just be a recessive gene. So two brown-eyed parents can have a blue-eyed child because they carry the recessive gene. It might be to do with meiosis, so making eggs and sperm, forming gametes. There are millions of different combinations. You could talk about crossing over, segregation of chromosomes, and of course mutations. So a mutation is a change in a gene, and that would also give you a brand new characteristic. If you're talking about the environment, you might say, for example, you might have genes for freckles, but if you never lay in the sun, if you wear sunscreen every day, you might not get many freckles. But if you lie in the sun every day, you'll express a lot. Or, for example, hydrangea flowers, if you grow them in a particular pH, they give pink flowers, and other pH, they give blue flowers. So the environment definitely does affect your phenotype, the expression. Another good example is something like height. You might have inherited from your parents genes to be six foot four, but if you only live on rice and corn in a village in Africa, you might only make five foot six, for example. So the environment has a big, big effect on your phenotype. So a big question, you need to do a lot of planning. Now we come to the verbs. So I'm going to use what I'm wearing today as an example to teach you about the verbs. You have to know them. So a simple verb like identify would be worth one mark. And if I said identify what I'm wearing today, you would just say a skirt and a top and you'd get the mark. If they asked you to outline or to describe, then you need to give a bit more detail. So a black top and a velvet skirt and a waistcoat. You need a bit more. If they asked you to perhaps explain you have to say because. You are wearing that because you think it looks slim or attractive or it doesn't need ironing or it was the only clean thing this morning. That would be a reason why that you're wearing it. If you get asked to evaluate or assess, it means to make a judgment. So you might say, I really like what you're wearing or it's really awful, old fashioned, whatever you like but make a strong value judgment. Don't just say it's good, make it strong. Another verb that students often mix up is discuss. So it's not like when we're talking, we call that discussing in everyday life. In science, it means for and against very clearly. And the best way to answer that is to make a table. So I love tables. I highly recommend you use them to answer lots of questions. <laughs>